I've been a hardcore gamer my entire life. It's a, a passion since I was a little child. Uh, my dream was to somehow be in the gaming industry. So when I finally recognized an opportunity of how I could grow this gaming community, a blog I started in 2011, you know, that's, that's what I wanted to pursue, to continue, and I think that um, I got surrounded by other people with a similar passion, and thankfully through really talented people with a strong passion, it's kind of a great formula for building a company. EGLX, we actually started it in a local pub, just as a place for the community to hang out with about 100, 120 gamers. We would do that every Sunday, just um, hanging out, enjoying ourselves, um, and people would pay to get through the door, so at least it would subsidize itself, but slowly that grew to 400 people, and then we had to move into a much larger venue, so we rented some uh, square footage at a convention center, and we had about 1,700 people come, and then we realized we were onto something, so we started to raise some funds, um, and within a year, we hit 12,000 people, and we became Canada's largest gaming convention. A year later, we got to 24,000, um, and now we're expecting about 35,000. And uh, you know, it's just been exploding with celebrities, with big companies coming on board, and the local Toronto gaming community really supporting it. This market, well, right now, it's about a seventh of the population. So it, it's over a billion people are gamers. Whether it's on your phones, casual gaming, whether it's with a hardcore console, uh, there's a lot of money shifting from traditional newspapers, radios, uh, television to online and especially to gaming because uh, the entertainment sector just in North America is $600 billion. And the largest one of that in the past 10 years has become gaming. It used to be movies and TV, but gaming has far surpassed that. It's only growing. This is the beginning of it. I think gaming is going to be the predominant way that we have entertainment uh, for the, as the younger generation grows up. Um, advertisers are recognizing that and they're starting to uh, put more funds into it, creating more opportunities for people like myself who created a gaming company are now um, you know, kind of going along with this huge expanding market. Uh, for us, you could even see it in our own company where we started off with uh, maybe $8,000 just as a blog and then we started our network of aggregating other communities and that year in 2016 we had $350,000 in revenue but a year later we had 3.5 million so we, I, I saw this 10x in my own company and we had to scale as quickly as possible to support that and now we're doing over a million dollars a month in revenue uh, the scale just continues and I, I see this not as the end point this is just the beginning we're really seeing dollars flowing into the industry we see the support um, everyone uh, seems to be recognizing it right now so it's just a massive opportunity and the fact that right now we're listed in Comscore as number five in the entire North American gaming market uh, in our reach with our 75 million visitors, I think that means that we're positioned really well to be at the forefront of this expanding industry. We saw this coming decades ago. You know, if you're a hardcore gamer, you realize that there was something special here, there was a passion. Uh, you saw the community growing, it just hadn't hit the mainstream. Uh, with technology really coming to a place that allowed the world to unite um, on the internet and talk to others, compete in real time, um, esports has um, been able to take people's passions and just grow it exponentially to the point that now it's mainstream and they say one-seventh of the world's population are gamers. So we're just happy that we're there early um, before it became this popular thing. And now we're able to you know, have the whole industry support us. And there's recognition and resources and support that we could have never imagined before. Well, our focus um, is communities, blogs that appeal to specific niche gaming communities. Uh, I started Nintendo Enthusiast because I was a hardcore Nintendo fan. Um, my colleague, Nero started Destructoid because he was a fan. Uh, what we realized was that we had a lot of gamers, hundreds of thousands to millions of people coming to our communities, but we weren't being monetized well because gaming was new in terms of the mainstream audience. There wasn't a lot of money being spent on it from advertisers. Um, so that's where we set about to help all of these passionate niche communities uh, come together, you know, aggregate them, 
and be able to reach out to advertisers and monetize well. Very quickly, a lot of other gamers with sites that they owned heard about it and started to join. And within two years, we got to 85 sites and 75 million gamers, um, over 12 billion ads a month. So you know, we have a, a huge volume of, of advertisers uh, coming to us with um, all the ad inventory we have, uh, and just a constant growth and iterating and optimizing to continue uh, you know, monetizing it better. 90% of our growth to date has been organic, just growing as additional gaming sites have joined into our network. But now we have the opportunity to take our vision and put it onto steroids um, because when you know, going through the go public process, we've been able to raise money, uh, get the support of the streets, uh, investors and those who are kind of looking at this burgeoning community. Um, and now we're able to really do a roll-up strategy execute on a growth plan through acquisition where there are many gaming sites and communities that are looking to become part of something larger. So I think that we're going to continue our organic growth, but we're going to amplify it with our roll-up strategy and M&A deals. I think it's just the realization that we've made it to a certain place as a company and as an industry. When we started this, I was just in my room creating a blog, typing as a passion. When we started our events part of the company, we were just at a local bar. To see it go onto the stock exchange, become validated by investors through revenue, through the community, it's something I, cannot, I never could have imagined, but I kind of have been a, pa uh, a passenger on this journey that I'm, I'm on as this thing steers itself with as much you know, help from me with the steering wheels as I can. But just that recognition of taking it to a whole new league is something that's just satisfying from my childhood to now to see where my passion has gone.